Hi friends. Welcome. This video, we will understand, about the right selection of the damper actuator. How to select the, damper actuator. Step-by-step -step procedure, to select the, correct damper actuator. Actuator selection is, based upon the ability, of the actuator, to adequately open, and, close the damper, and the amount of torque the actuator can supply. This is, typically depends upon the following, overall damper size, velocity of air through the damper, static pressure, against the damper, damper blade type, whether parallel, or, opposed, whether, the damper has seals, or not. Step number, 1. Determine which application, the actuator to be used. 1. Standard damper applications. 2. Fire rated damper applications. 3. Fail safe operation. Is fail safe actuation required? If yes, use spring return actuator. Step number 2. Determine the operation type or, the control type to be used, two position control, floating point control, modulating control. These dampers actuators, whether come with, spring return, or non-spring return. Step number, three. Determine, what is the supply voltage to the actuator? 230 volt, AC. 120 volt, AC. 24 volt AC 24 volt DC Step number 4 Determine what is the control signal of the actuator 0 to 10 volt DC 2 to 10 volt DC 4 to 20 milliampere 0 to 20 milliampere 0 to 135 ohm Step number 5 Calculate the area of a damper Area equals width multiply height. Area, whether be a square meter, or square feet. Step number, 6. Determine, what is the, damper blade control construction? Whether, opposed blade, or, parallel blade control. Step number, 7. Are the damper edges, with seal, or, without seal? 1. No seals dampers, usually an outside air damper. 2. With seals dampers, usually interior dampers, like zone control dampers. This will impact, the proper selection, as the seals add resistance, which requiring more torque. Next one is, important step, when selection of an actuator. The proper, torque rating of the actuator, is necessary to drive the blades of the damper, in a open, or, a closed position. Step number, 8. After determine, the damper blade construction control, and, edge seal, find the, rated torque loading of the damper. Usually, the manufacturer specify the torque rating. If not, refer to the typical damper requirements, and, sizing chart as below. Step number, 9. What is the air velocity? Static pressure, or, design airflow, through the damper? Air velocity equals meter per second, or, FPM. Static pressure equals Pascal, or, inch of water gauge. Design airflow equals CMH, or, CFM. Systems above 1000 FPM, requires an, additional actuator torque. Step number, 10. Actuator torque calculation. Use the torque loading from the chart, and, 
multiply with area of the damper, will get the required damper torque. Torque equals area of damper, multiply torque loading of the damper. Here you can see, an example of, how to calculate, the actual damper actuator size. Damper area equals width, multiply with height. Total square inches divided by 144, equals, total square feet. Area equals 36 inches, multiply, 36 inches equals, 1296 divided by 144, equals 9 square feet. If we choose, a post blade with seal, then from the table, it is 5 inches pound per square feet. Which is equal to, 7 newton meter. A post blade without seals, 3 in pound per square feet. A post blade with seals, 5 in pound per square feet. Parallel blade without seals, 4 in pound per square feet. Parallel blade with seals, 7 in pound per square feet. The above values applicable, for the airflow, less than 1000 FPM. So, damper torque calculations is, area of damper, multiply with torque loading of the damper. Torque equals, 9 square feet, multiply torque load, 5 inches pound, equals, 45 inches pound per square feet, or 61 newton meter. So, this is the way, to calculate, the actual damper actuator size. When oversizing of the actuator, will potential damage to your equipment. What happens, when undersizing of the actuator? Equipment won't function properly. Potential damage to the equipment. Decreased energy efficiency, improper control signal. Overworking the equipment. Refer to the following standards, for info related to dampers actuators. Thank you all. Please like and comment the videos. Share my channel with your friends. Subscribe my channel for more updated videos. Thank you see you next video.